Hey, welcome back to Ping Pong Flakes. My name is Chris Wong. Aloha Friday, guys. It's finally the weekend. And Friday, still got a bit of Justice League news to talk about. I'm not going to talk about that whole thing about Justice League ending was changed. It's no longer part one and part two. Because literally, that's old news, man. I don't know why that rumor is coming back up. This was news back in... Uh, a year ago, and it was reported by Forbes, Mark Hughes himself, who said he had already interviewed Deborah Snyder and Zack Snyder about this, Charles Rovin about this. Old news. But this is new news. This is about Ben Affleck, who is saying, he's saying that he's pretty thankful that Marvel veteran Joss Whedon was able to take over Justice League. He talked about Zack Snyder stepping away to deal with the death of his daughter. Um, and he, he says this, It's a little bit unorthodox, admits Ben Affleck. Zack had a family tragedy and stepped off, which was horrible. For the movie, the best person we could have possibly found was Joss. We got really lucky that he stepped in. And then he goes on to talk about Whedon and Snyder in an interview with uh, Entertainment Weekly. He called the upcoming superhero ensemble film an interesting product of two directors, both with kind of unique visions, both with really strong takes. I've never had that experience before making a movie. I hate to have to say I really love working with Zack, and I really love the stuff we've done with Joss. So that is actually, a lot of people are kind of reporting on that being, oh, there's two different directors, oh my god, what's going on? Oh, you know, they're going nuts over this thing. But I see this as a good thing. You know how DC fans and, and Marvel fans, especially those, love to know that there's good stuff in each universe and kind of likes both? And for people who want to see, hey, why can't we work together? Well that has already happened this is happening now whether you liked Avengers or Avengers or not or Avengers uh, Age of Ultron or not Joss Whedon was from the Marvel Cinematic Universe and he graciously came on board to this one uh, and's gonna do Batgirl later on but this is a melting pot of two visionary directors working together and not at the same time, but they're still working together to give us Justice League. Give us the Justice League. I don't know if we deserve it, but we definitely want it. Zack Snyder is very good with action set pieces. He's very good with the visual style and flair that he's able to create out of these masterpieces, out of art on screen and Joss Whedon is able to work with dialogue, able to connect characters together, make them more likable during conversations and slow moments and they're putting it together in a great awesome movie. This is Justice League. This is the superhero team up to see this on screen on a giant blockbuster film Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Flash, Cyborg put it all together and hopefully maybe Green Lantern within there. This was my dream before Avengers. I didn't quite know Avengers. I kind of knew of Avengers. I knew the basic Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, sure. Uh, I'm not very familiar with the team-ups. Justice League, I'm totally looking forward to. And and I welcome any help they can achieve to get this, this movie out in the theaters. Justice League becomes a melting pot of two visionary directors each you're utilizing their own flair, their own style to create something that it could be quite. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you next time.